Hi there. Listen, um, this, I'm going to give a quick talk. Of, I hope it's quick. And it's on um, kind of you know, humorously phrased how to ruin your career. And I'll post the slides up as well. But basically, this is nothing to do with this course, nothing to do. And you're not being tested on it. It's just, you know, something I think is interesting for anyone that is on their way to going into business or that will soon be in the corporate world or you're already in the corporate world and you look around and some of these things will ring true to you, but others may not. Anyway, what I'm really trying to say here, these are these are ways that um, that you can kind of negatively affect your own career and that you should avoid them. And I put it uh, that way. And, I, and I, they won't all apply, but you'll see that some do. Now, uh, one of the first ones is be oblivious to expectations. You know, companies don't want yes people around, but they do have uh, clearly things that, that they want done. Be aware of those and work towards those goals. Ask around, what are we doing here? What's the point? What's the goal? Let me see the strategic plan. Let me see your boss. Let me see your goals. What are your goals and objectives? How can I help you make good? And that follows with the second point I was going to make. Make your boss look good. It's an old saying, but very, very few people even give it a thought. Even if they say they do, they don't. Be well aware of what your boss needs to accomplish and help them do it. It works. Besides, that's what you should be doing. You're aligned with the organization. But be, be really clear and ask, ask you know, what are your goals? Ask you know, he, he, he or she, what, what are your goals? What, what do you need to get done? How can I help? Um, if you engage in endless chit chat and gossip, it's very negative in your career. People don't like gossips when you work. Uh, they don't like people to hang around a water cooler and talk a lot. Uh, people feel that if somebody's working, uh, if I'm working, somebody else isn't, it really bothers them. And also you lose credibility when you gossip. Uh, the workplace is different from other places. It's best, much better to keep it to yourself. Somebody tells you something, let it end there. Uh, don't uh, develop a reputation or someone who, who talks a lot in general, uh, outside a work environment, also who, who uh, you know, gossips is, is very negative. Uh, following that is similar to that is showing yourself to lie or be two-faced or, or uh, dishonest. You, you just don't overcome that. And this country in America, it's one of the things that we don't like. We don't like people that are dishonest, <clears throat> lying, despite what you see in the papers. Um, it bothers us. Other countries aren't that way, but this one is. So you need to be honest. It's, if you break that uh, trust, it takes a really long time to, to uh, regain. And that goes as far as asking other people to lie for you. Don't say things like, tell him I'm not here when you're there. Tell him I'm on vacation when you're not. Or when you say to a client, um, you know what? I was just working. I just I've been working on that. I'm not quite ready. If you haven't worked on it at all, just say that. It works. People are are used to that and they appreciate honesty. Sorry, you know what? I had no time to work on your thing. I'm going to get to it as soon as I can. I really appreciate you waiting. I, I hope I didn't inconvenience too much. Is much better than saying, you know, I've been working on it. I just have to get to it. I'm waiting for somebody else when they know you're lying. So stick with the truth. It works every time. Um, don't send emails when you're angry. Be careful. Uh, thinking of who's going to receive your email, using a few extra words, make your email something that isn't going to come up and bite you. I sometimes call emails e uh, email grenades. They get in there and they explode, and then it's very difficult to come back from those things. When you're mad, sometimes you just fire off an email and you wish you hadn't. Um, of course, don't show any antisocial or unacceptable behavior on, on social media. Remember, every company that hires you is going to look at your Facebook, they're going to look at your Twitter account, they're going to look at everything they can find about you. If, if, no matter what picture you have posted there or comment you have posted there, is, someone will, in the HR department or somebody, will see it, they will find out, they will know what you've said or, uh, and how you think. That's part of the hiring process. So be careful what you do. That Just don't, don't bother with that. Of course, you shouldn't anyway, but for your career, you really shouldn't. Um, uh, getting drunk at uh, work functions, even though people drink, just don't do that. Um, don't choose a company or a career without doing your homework on that company or career. Sometimes you think, oh, I've got a job. It's great. It's paid this much. You know, think think of, movie, of things you've seen, like the movie The Firm. Maybe you're too young to watch that. But the thing is, you know, companies aren't all the same. People aren't all the same. Do some background research and don't get stuck in a place that's not, not, not a good place. Um, don't badmouth your boss publicly. That's a, never a good idea. And also, you know, similar, not similar at all, but uh, don't downplay your own achievements and abilities. You don't want to be a braggart, but look, you've done some things. Uh, when you write a resume, make sure, you know, re this is a very quick tip. Resumes are all about, I got here, it was like this. Because of me, I did this, this is what happened, result. People look for result and uh, change makers, action people in resumes. Um, don't uh, annoy your coworkers. Remember you said you're gonna be there with them for years. Uh, people do not uh, ascribe to the idea that, oh, he's a great, he's kind of a not fun person to be around, but he's a great worker. We'll keep him. 
I don't do that. I want good people uh, to be around, friendly people, and that are good workers. Um, you know, the, it, it's hard not to sometimes, but don't consider your, your workplace a dating site. It's, or worse even, some people have, they really ruin their careers and their moral authority by personal relationships they have at work. Um, that usually companies have codes for that and policies and make sure you're aware of them um, and, and just watch that element of your of your job. Don't, you, you just don't look at my workplace as, as a, a place that's like a dating site. Don't engage in harassment of any kind to anybody, male or female. No, that's just immoral, it's wrong, it's bad, it'll get you fired, but, and, and it should. Uh, don't uh, use language that put people down, don't, uh, that kind of, any kind of thing that can be construed as harassment. Remember, if it, the person feels harassed, they've been harassed. So sometimes they can go to extremes, but just be careful. Uh, just don't bother with that. They're professionals, you're professional. You know, treat them with utmost respect. Treat each other with utmost respect at all the time. Um, let's see, what else can I give you guys? Okay, plain politics. Plain politics, you always have to know what's going on, but you don't want to be uh, per perceived as a brown noser, play politics guy who's two-faced and trying to worm your way around. It might work a while for a while, uh, it, but it doesn't work over time. You, need, you don't want to undermine your colleagues. You don't want to be cho seen choosing side. You want to be spreading rumors and all things under that. You do have to be aware of what's going on, and hopefully what's going on is what you want to be aligned with. If it's not, reconsider where you are, but, uh, but be authentic, be real, and be someone that can be trusted. Uh, don't overpromise, under deliver. You, uh, you know, of course, in, in school and college, you do that. People can do that, get away with that kind of thing. It doesn't work at work. Work, you have to meet every deadline. You can never be late. It has to be perfect, and you can't say I'm going to do this and not do it. It has to be done. It has to be, uh, you know, be careful what you promise if you can do it. But if you say you're going to do it, get it, get it done. Uh, don't be, don't like I guess I don't miss com deadlines ever. And don't be complacent. Be thinking that I'm, I'm, you know, there are people worse than me, there are people better than me, I'm kind of in the middle. That won't work for you as a long-term career. It's like a horse race. You want to be at the end. You don't have to be twice as good as the next horse. A nose will do it, but you want to be better. You want to be better than other people because when cuts come, when shift, things are changed, when people need different people to do different things, you want to be the one they choose. And that won't happen if you're just kind of in the middle of the pack. Remember, it's all about excellence. And, and it's part of the, the, the stewardship part of your job. If you've got a job, it's a gift. Do the best you can. That's all there is to, all there is to it. Um, don't have a low emotional uh, IQ, EQ. Uh, what that means is don't fly off that. Don't show your emotions at work. We don't want to see people crying or, or upset uh, or showing their emotions, especially if you're a manager. If you're a manager, I remember one time when I really hurt my back. Um, before I left my office, I'd walk around a few times so I would straighten up and have a, a not a pain look on my face. If you walk in that room with a pain look on your face, the rumors immediately start, we're, we're being sold, we're being bought. Um, something's going to happen. People are going to get fired. People look at everything you do, and it's your responsibility to leave your emotions outside. Your work is professional. You don't, There's no need. I just, I just have to let it out. That's not true. I have to express myself. No, you're at work. That's you have a different thing you can do outside of work, but at work you're professional. You don't get the you know, if if you're too touchy, you know, too difficult to deal with, irrational. Uh, people will not want to work with you. Uh, really believe in first impressions matter. I hear people oh I'll make it up. You won't. And the people in the first couple of seconds you know, they decide how they think about you. Make a good first impression in everything you do, and and, and be aware. You know, be prepared for interview. Be prepared for job changes because those first impressions uh, matter matter a lot. Um, let me see what else I have here. I think that could. Well, I have a little bit late. Um, a little bit more. Uh, don't stay at a job you hate. Um, but at the same time. Don't be overly impatient. Things do change. You might find it hard to believe at your age, but it's very, very rare that things persist over time. Things do do change. You'll, the boss you hate will get uh, let go. Uh, something will happen. You know, when you look back over a career, you think, man, I, you know, that was just, it seemed like a long year, but it was only a year, and then really big things happened, especially if you're pushing for it. Make sure you're pushing for something you can reasonably achieve, and keep touching base with people to make sure it's on its way, but don't just think, oh, I don't like the way it is I'm leaving, uh, because things do change much more than you think. If you ever see an organizational chart, by the time it gets printed, it's usually time to do it again. The, the, the fluctuations are, are tremendous. In a couple of years, you'll see, you know, sometimes 20 to 80 percent of people change. Usually, in the 30 percent, people change. So, um, you know, use that to your advantage with a little patience and focus, and work hard towards what you really want. Uh, don't blame other people for work. 
that works outside of work, inside of work, it doesn't work at all. Um, and some of the best managers I've ever worked for are people that will not a- allow people to, if uh, that person is, you know, do, there's always the, there's a game where the, the, uh, he or she is really good, but, and then what comes afterwards is a qualification or some kind of negative comment. Th- just don't do that. Say they're good or they're not. Wish them well. Work is different. If everybody wishes each other well, everybody benefits. So you want to do as cooperative and positive as you can be. And if you know something negative about somebody, leave, out, leave it to other people. They know it too. Don't you be the one to pass around those kind of things to say. Um, uh, well, a couple of things. Never, you know, um, um, a couple, two, two of things. You know, and when you first really uh, start working, you want to go overboard with how hard you work and, what, and the impression you're making. I was fortunate a lot of times when I got transferred to a location out of the country or wherever, I'd, my family would have to stay behind, you know, fixing up the house and getting the kids out of school, etc. So I had a few weeks there, a month where I was by myself. So what I did was I worked all the time. I'd work, you know, I'd be there when everybody showed up. I'd be there way after they left. And around one or two in the morning, I'd go around and leave notes on people's desks. You know, my father told me when I was younger, do a lot of work at night so you can be available during the day for things and they come up on projects. It's great advice. I do it to this day. Many of you have seen me write emails to you at two, three in the morning. It, uh, it Maybe that's not for you, but I'll tell you, you know, that kind of work ethic will, especially in the beginning, uh, helps a lot. You just don't draw the lines early. Once you establish yourself as a hard work and a positive influence, then things uh, change quite a bit. Um, the other last thing I'm going to say is uh, it, it's not easy to think you can have it all. It, 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 you know, work, it's like we're looking at a lot of strategy things. Um, choices are, are to the elimination of other choices. If you t- choose one option, other things can't, can't do. Um, you may uh, love uh, painting or gardening or uh, scuba diving, uh, and, but you might, you might say, okay, I'm going to do that. You, 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 that. That's fine. To work. You might not be able to do all three and work. You might not be able to do all, uh, once you have children and they, they are like, they, you become, you go to their games, you go to the, and I encourage that all the way. You're going to have to uh, realize that a balance in life is one of the most difficult and most important things you can try to arrange. Sometimes you will be imbalanced for a time. You might work extremely hard for a month or two months or three months, whatever, all the time. And that's fine. Sometimes, you know, I, a couple times when I've worked on acquisitions, I mean, you're there two or three in the morning and there's no place you'd rather be. You're having a blast. I mean, it's fun. You wouldn't want to do that every day forever, but it comes and goes. But overall, Try to uh, arrange a balance in your life. Think about what do I need, what do I want, um, and you're not going to be able to do everything uh, as perfectly well. So shrink it down to things you can do really well and you ha- make you happy and make you productive. Your work is a constant. It's got to be done. Um, then you add any other things in your life or your family's first, of course. But make that combination of things that you're clear on. And, and it's going to fluctuate, but I, finding that balance and realizing a balance is necessary and that you cannot have it all <laughs> is important to know. Pick the things you really want and do those things. And put the, your priorities in priority order. If, you, if it's super important for you to exercise, do it at 7 in the morning before the day starts. You know, Those are the kind of things you got to do. Whatever is first, you put first. And if that's your faith, maybe, your family, whatever it takes, put those things in there and then the rest will follow. You just can't have it at all. Um, but overall, I think the, the most important thing is that people are looking for is attitude, a positive attitude, an aggressive attitude, someone who's a, a team player, a, a cooperative person, creative, flexible, because things change all the time, and, and that really seeks to become aligned with the way the company is doing and what your, your immediate supervisor and their supervisor is doing. Those things people look for. You can learn anything. Anything can be taught to you, but you need to have the approach to the job with those kind of attributes and that attitude in order to really start off and make a good success in your initial part of your career. I hope that helps. It, uh, I wish I'd known all those things when I started, and that's the whole point of all this is it's just to do uh, things that can maybe help you cut a few, uh, make fewer mistakes and cut a few years off your, your, uh, your progression towards success. All right? Thanks a lot.